Hiya! So as you may or may not know, I am a massive, massive fan of watching movies. So all genres like comedy, uh, dramas, cartoons, all genres, I absolutely love movies. And I actually did film studies at A level and I was considering going into film at uni potentially. Um, yeah, so I just love watching all different types of movies. So I thought I would show you my top 10 all time favourite films that I could watch over and over and over and not get bored. So yeah, I've rounded them up. It's been really hard to pick because there are so many films that I absolutely love. Um, but these are my 10 edited selection. This isn't in any particular order, this is just from the top of the pile. I'm not doing them because like putting them in order would be even harder. So yeah, just no particular order. First up, I have Pulp Fiction. Now I absolutely adore John Travolta. When I was doing film studies at A-level, I did a project on him about his like highs and lows of his career. And I featured this in my project and it's such a good film. Um, yeah, I, if you haven't seen Pulp Fiction, it is quite violent and it's like a couple of different stories like going on at the same time that are kind of interlinked. Um, but it's just so well acted and well written and it's just an absolute classic. So I love, love, love Pulp Fiction. Now I have a Christmas film, but it is one of my all time favourite films, so I'm including it. And it's The Grinch. Um, I have mentioned this in my Christmas video before, but I freaking love The Grinch. I could watch this, I, well I have watched this, I've watched this every day for a week before Christmas and I never get bored of it, I just love it, I know most of the words and it's just the best Christmas film ever ever made. If you haven't seen The Grinch then what is wrong with you, you need to sort your life out. If you don't like The Grinch then what is your life? Because this is the best thing ever. Um, as you can tell I'm very fanatical <laughs> about The Grinch. Now this next one I think I have featured in a favourites video but it is the internship. Now this is a complete unexpected love of mine. Um, I didn't see it in the cinema, I didn't have any interest in seeing it and then when I was interning my mum bought it for me and put it in my stocking as one of those like cheap ones from Tesco and I just sat there and watched it and it's one of the funniest things. Not everyone will think it's hilarious because it's kind of like... I don't know, you have to just get it. Um, but I think this is hilarious and I showed this to Luke. Because I showed it to my mum and mum thought it was okay but she didn't think it was hilarious. Showed it to Luke and it's one of his favourite films ever now as well. And we can just watch this over and over together. It's so, so funny. Like the jokes in it just, they just, oh they just get me. Like the, if you've seen it then like it's a stranger gram, that is just hilarious. And then, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the bit at the beginning. There's a bit at the beginning where they're talking about this like question and they're in... I can't, I can't describe it unless you've seen it. If you've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. The bit where they're talking about being in a blender and they're just going, What? What? We were in a blender, now we're saving lives? What? That bit is just so hilarious. Um, but yeah, this makes me really happy. Um, so if you haven't seen it, then you might like it, you might not like it. It's a comedy, it's got Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn and it's about them doing an internship at Google and it's just funny. So yeah, I love this. This next one is a bit of a Marmite one, so you either love it or you hate it. I'm on the loving it side of things and it's Despicable Me. So some people hate Minions, I freaking love Minions. Um, and I think I saw this at the cinema when I was on holiday in America and we just went to see it because it was just on and we were like, there's nothing to do in the evenings because I wasn't 21. Um, so we went to the cinema and this is just hilarious. I love, I don't really need to describe it do I because people know what Despicable Me is. But I just love it. I think it's a really nice like family film and just minions make me laugh so Despicable Me and two. I like number two as well but obviously I can only include one. This next one features one of my favourite ever movie lines of all time and that is Die Hard and the line is Yippee ki motherfucker because it's just such an awesome line and I just love this film. I saw this when I was quite young um, because it came out before I was born but 
I love it so much. I love Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis is just awesome. And I love all the sort of like old action -y heroes that are like from the 80s films. So I love the Expendables series. That is one of my favourite. I know it can be a bit cheesy, but I don't care. I like a bit of cheese. So I love the three Expendables films because it's got like the old action -y hero guys still killing it. Um, so yeah, I've got the Die Hard series. I love, I know some people say, oh, they like like petered off and they're not as good like the most recent ones but I love all five of them I have all five on blu-ray this is a DVD because I have two copies of this I have a blu-ray and a DVD um, because I freaking love Die Hard and Bruce Willis so yeah Die Hard and the other Die Hards I've only included two Disney films in this because I can't I might make like a top 10 Disney films favourites because there's so many Disney films that I love and I'm a massive Disney fan but I've included my two favourites so I've included one Pixar and one like Disney classic and the Pixar I've chosen is Monsters Inc. This came out when I was 10 I think and so it's like the perfect time for me going to see this at cinema and I just loved it. I loved Sully so much and yeah Monsters Inc. I'm, I don't, do I need to describe these films because I'm sure people know what most of them are about or like have heard of them um, because they're kind of like well known films that I'm choosing um, but yeah Monsters Inc because it's just so good a film that will never ever go out of style Grease I love Grease um, when I was younger me and um, she's like my little sister um, she was my mum's best friend's daughter and we used to reenact the car scene where she throws the ring at him and then she shuts the door on him and he's like ah. Oh. We used to reenact that scene all the time together and then we used to have a blonde wig and we used to sing Sandra D and we were all like, I don't know, we must have been like, I don't know, seven, eight at the time, we weren't very old. Um, and yeah, Grease, so John Travolta again, because I love John Travolta, and it's just such a classic, it's so good, and I love it. I don't really need to describe it, do I, because most people know what Grease is, but it's just so, so good. The other Disney film I've included is the Disney classic, and it is Mulan. Now, I absolutely adored this film when I was younger. I was seven when this came out, and I had it on video, and I I knew the words backwards. I watched it so, so much. It was my favourite. I don't know what it was about this film. I don't know whether it was like, just like the girl poweriness of Mulan. Um, I just loved it. I was, ah, oh, I just wanted everything Mulan. And I just, I love Mulan basically. I, this is definitely my favourite Disney classic film. Closely with Pocahontas. Um, they were probably my two when I was younger, my favourites out of everything. Um, but yeah, I've Mulan just pipped it to the post because I do literally know 90% of the words still of this film. Um, yeah, Mulan. I like films that make me happy or like make me feel something. I don't like to watch sad ones too much, but I like films that make me happy. And one film that particularly makes me happy is Hairspray. Um, it's so cheesy, it's so... I don't know, it's just cheesy but cheesy great and awesome and amazing. I remember when I saw this at cinema I was like this is the best thing ever and um, yeah I absolutely adored this when it came out. I haven't actually watched it in a while but I know every time I watch it I just could, it's just great. Um, and again it's got John Travolta in it so it makes me happy and even if he is in a dress, like, I don't even care, John in a dress doesn't even bother me because it's still John Travolta and he's still awesome. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love Hairspray. Luke actually likes Hairspray. I made him watch it with me once. He was like, this is actually really good. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's so good. Um, yeah, and this is... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to see it on stage, but then I don't want to see it on stage because I love this so much and I wouldn't want to be put off. Because I saw Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, on stage. It was incredible. Watched the film, I was like, well, this is depressing. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I want to see this on stage. And also, this has Zac Efron in it, and I'm a massive Zac Efron fan. Um, so yeah, Hairspray. The final film, and something I couldn't not include, is obviously a Harry Potter film. My favourite Harry Potter film is the final one, because it just got me so emotional. <laughs> At the cinema, from the point where McGonagall says, protect our school. I, it actually, like, it's giving me goosebumps now. 
<laughs> the point where McGonagall says protect our school and the things jump off the wall and then go off to bed. I started crying from that point and cried the rest of the movie in the cinema. And the bit where Neville does his little speech, oh my god, it just gets me. <laughs> I still feel emotional when I watch it now. Uh, and the McGonagall bit. Um, it's just the best film. It's just so like, yes! Just makes you feel like they did it. And <laughs> I'm very passionate about Harry Potter, as you can tell. I know a lot of people are passionate about Harry Potter, and I am certainly one of them. Um, yeah. It's just perfect. I, the only sad bit is obviously like when like the good people die, like Lupin and one of the Wheezy brothers, I can never remember which one, um, but oh, it's just so good. So yeah, Deathly Hallows part 2. So that was my top 10, but this is such a hard thing to pick, so I just wanted to do a little couple of honourable mentions um, of other films that I adore. So we have Mrs Doubtfire so good Robin Williams so 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 sad that he died um, because this is just one of the greatest films ever made um, so yeah missed out fire and then sex and the city I know this divides opinion because some people are like oh I'm not sure about it and people definitely aren't sure about the number two but I love both the sex and the city films are they just I need those blue shoes in my life um, so yeah sex and the city and gladiator so epic so amazing so emotional I, it, every time the ending makes me cry and I've oh, I just it's just awesome just amazing it's just so so good Russell Crowe is amazing in it and I, it was on the movie channels ages ago and Luke was like, oh, I don't want to watch this because he's not really into films or anything like me um, and he's like oh, I don't want to watch this and I said oh well let's just leave it on we left it on by about a half an hour in, he was literally sitting on the edge of his seat, like what's like on tender hooks, like transfixed. The ending totally got him, and he was—he just didn't know what to do with his life. He—he <laughs> um, he loved it as well. And whilst it is a really long film, so I don't know if he'll be watching it again because he's got a short attention span. Um, he loved it, and it's just amazing. So yeah, three little honourable mentions that technically can't be in my top 10 but they had to be mentioned those were my top 10 plus a couple of all-time favorite movies there are so many other other films that i could include in this that i absolutely loved pieces but i tried to narrow it down um I, I hope you've liked this video because it's a bit different and i have done like a top 10 tv favorites one before but i just love films so much that i wanted to do one like this um but yeah, so if you enjoyed this kind of video, then let me know and I can make my top 10 Disney films or I can do another one of these. I don't know. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't like it. It's just a bit, I don't know, different because I'm a fan of films, so I'd like to share that with you. Um, but yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a big thumbs up. That would be lovely of you. And if you're not already subscribed, if you subscribed, that would be also lovely of you. If you're already subscribed and you're still sticking around, then ta very much. And hopefully I will see you in my next video.